what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Okay, here's the situation. We have two elderly women, a black woman, white woman. The white woman is pretty aggressive. She tells the black woman, I think I'm afraid of you, you F and blah, blah, blah. She take one step toward the black woman and boom, the woman's grandson drops her with overhand right. Now, I'll tell you how to find the video. I'm not gonna play it. I'm not gonna play it, it's, it's too graphic. But he knocks the woman out. My question is, was that necessary? And do we really consider this to a Karen? Is this really a Karen? You dig what I'm saying? Like, you know, I basically look at it like this. This seems like to just be a dispute, in my opinion. It's a dispute between two people who just happen to be of different ethnicities. And one had backup. Now, I can tell you this, family. That kid that hit that woman, he looked to be about maybe 17, 16, 18, somewhere up in there. He looked, he looked, looked like a teenager. In any event, when I was his age, if anybody would have disrespected my grandmother like that, it wouldn't have mattered who they were. I would have dropped him. I can see how the youngster couldn't control his emotions, but I'm not with that. I'm not with that at all. It was uncalled for and it's not worth it. But I can see how the youngster couldn't control his emotions. Grandma is the matriarch. She must be protected at all times. Then when you think of the climate that we're in with all the Karens, it's almost like a white woman do anything right now, she's gonna be considered a Karen. Any type of angry, any type of angriness, any type of aggression, she's gonna be viewed as a Karen. Now, I know some of y'all don't give a damn one way or the other, but is that really fair? Now, I know some of y'all, well, you know, life ain't fair. And, you know, they don't give a damn about us. They treat us any kind of way and blah, blah, blah. But I got to look at this even kill. I got to look at the balance here. You know, I got to really take a look at this thing. I look at elderly people a different way. And... Really, I think if, if it would have went down, it looked like grandma could have been able to hold her own if it, would, if it had went down. I suspect that this kid is gonna face a hard time in court. Ain't no way they're gonna let him get away with dropping that lady like he did and getting away. Well, I won't say lady, that woman, because no lady talks like that. Oh man, she was, whoo. Yeah, she was, she was pretty, uh, she had a potty mouth. That's what they like to say. She had a potty mouth. But I don't know, fam. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this. Is, 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 does this really qualify as a catering? I need you to be honest. Don't be emotional. Give me the honesty because I want to know, you know, am I, am I tripping or am I in pocket here? Don't give me the emotional response. Give me the logical response. Anyway, if you want to watch the video, you can Google, young dude puts Karen to sleep for talking reckless to his grandma.
If nothing else, he'll have a place to stay when he get out of prison. No more talk. What the haters talking about? <laughs>